Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are with a new video of uh, a review, a detailed review on the NS200 projector that I have installed. So this is a Bizenon projector that I have installed in my bike, and this is a DRL that is an angel ring. And many of you people have asked how is the low beam and the high beam, and how is the overall performance of this projector. So let me show you a demo first. So you know to turn on the headlight, just uh, start your bike. switch yeah so as uh, this is a xenon projector it will take some time to boot up so as you can see the light color is like bluish and after 10 to 20 seconds it will turn into white pure white so i have installed a 6000 kelvin hid uh, bulb unit in this hence i will be getting a 6000 kelvin uh, pure cool white uh, headlight pattern wherein if you people want a warmer color you can go for 4200 kelvin also so this is a low beam that you can see it's almost 90% uh, booted up so this is a low beam and if you go to high beam this is the high beam this is the low beam and this is a high beam so the currently bike is in the side stand that's the reason you might uh, see the pattern little uh, cross so if i sit on the bike and uh, make it straight so this is how the pattern looks and you can see this is a straight uh, line over here because of which uh, the opposite incoming traffic will not be affected because the beam pattern is uh, set properly and also if you could see there is a small cut in this pattern this cut because of this cut what happens usually in India uh, the driving is on the left hand side so the left hand, hides, uh, left -hand side gets uh, more light compared to the right hand side so when the uh, traffic is incoming uh, the drivers won't be affected even when they are in the lower seat in the car so that is one good advantage of this uh, sort of beam pattern and wherein uh, most of the projector has this sort of beam pattern and the company specifically designed uh, thinking the opposite incoming vehicles in mind and let me show you the high beam once again in this side so this is a low beam it's a high beam and i think you people can get to know how much bright is this so when compared to uh, other powerful headlights like domner or uh, duke 390 i could say it is almost more brighter than domner or duke 390 because obviously it has uh, a hid unit and compared to leds hids have high intensity now let me show you this headlight uh, when we ride uh, all right guys uh let's see the ride review and how does the headlight perform so i think uh, you people can see how the beam pattern has been spread out and uh, yeah this is how the headlight looks uh, in the low beam let me take you to a place where uh, you can get a brief idea about how the headlight is okay let me take this road yeah so this is the low beam performance of the hid projector that i've installed in minus 200 and even when you have a proper bright street light you can see how is the beam pattern and how much bright it is and this sort of headlight projector is always beneficial when you are going out on the highway because uh, during highway riding you must have a very bright headlight to justify the darkness so Domnar has an excellent headlight and uh, it is one of the best headlight that any manufacturer could give on a stock bike but uh, wherein NS200 even though it has so many upgradation done over uh, the years Bajaj haven't uh, upgraded its headlight and that is a bummer so many people are uh, moving to LED bulbs uh, and switching to LED bulbs wherein the problem with the LED bulbs if you just replace the bulb there won't be a proper alignment for the beam pattern so that is one of the biggest issue because uh, most of the reason why uh, the switching of uh, allergen bulb to LED has been banned in India is because of the beam pattern because when you ride it on the street uh, in highway that's not a problem because you're going in the one way direction but when you uh, move into street when you ride it in the street the opposite vehicle the opp opposite traffic will be affected because there is no alignment for the beam pattern so what happens is because of uh, improper tuning in the led uh, you know led filament that is already there 
different reflectors require different sort of uh, bulb unit which throws uh, lights into different angles but what happens if you just uh, you know switch into leds the opposite uh, traffic will be affected and the drivers coming from opposite even when they are sitting very low in cars these people will get affected so i suggest you to uh, you know switch into led only if you are purchasing it from a known uh, un- well known seller uh, so that is something that you people have to keep in mind and uh, i think you people are getting a brief idea about how this headlight is uh let me take it to a darker place so you people can see it clearly i'll take this road yeah perfect so this is a low beam projection and again as i said you can see the pattern there's no uh, no no vehicles coming from opposite side will be affected and but if you put into high beam this is how the high beam looks low beam and high beam this is a low beam and this is the high beam so coming to the costing for installing this projector uh, i had uh, imported this and the brand of this projector is uh, synolix and currently it is not available anywhere uh, i is try searching it to install it my uh, friends ns200 but currently synolix is not available anywhere uh, if you people know any place where i can get this projector again uh, please comment down below and uh, coming to the alternative for this projector uh, you can anyways uh, switch to hella Hella is a well known brand for uh, making projector headlights even RS200 and uh, RC200 projectors has been manufactured by Hella itself so Hella is excellent projector if you can get it and uh, the other brand what you can use for uh, getting this projector is IPH IPH is also one of the good uh, brand who can manufacture by Xenon uh, HID projectors coming to uh, the costing uh, it varies depending on what sort of model that you buy okay i'll show you the projection again this is the low beam and this is the high beam this is the low beam and this is the high beam yeah coming back to uh, what sort of projectors that you can buy uh, since uh, ns200 reflector comes with a h4 fitment uh, you can get a h4 to h1 or h4 to d2s if you can get a hang on uh, d2s bulbs that's an excellent one uh, it will be much more brighter and of much more quality than the current one that i'm using uh, but obviously d2s bulbs will be costlier than h1 and uh, the pricing will be around 20 to 25000 for the h1 projectors and for d2 as one it will be anyways from uh, 25 to 30000 uh, or higher depending on the quality on uh, depending on the lens that you buy and uh, coming to the drls there are different uh, types of shrouds and uh, drls that you can get and uh, depending on the customization of the drls also the price may vary uh, i have a uh, no uh, shroud that has a drl which turns on uh, when the ignition is on and when you crank the bike the angel eyes turn off and uh, just the projector uh, the chadi itself works and the wiring that i used for uh, this projector is custom made so there is no uh, wiring that can be you no know, plug and play so you have to make your own and if any of you people are interested to know about what's the wiring that i have used in this bike you can dm me in instagram i'll be more than happy to help you out and uh, when comes to additional stuff that i have used in this i am using osram h1 6000k you no know, hd bulb and uh, the costing of that bulb is around 8000 to 10000 rupees and it keeps on fluctuating in uh, uh, amazon i'll be leaving the link to purchase uh, this uh, headlight bulb in the description below and uh, the additional stuff again uh, what i have used in this uh, projector installment is uh, minda you know relay so relay is very important while you install uh, this projector unit because projector use higher uh, amp of current which your stock wiring cannot handle so what have done is uh, from the stock wiring have passed the power to the relay and the relay i have used it to uh, switch the projector so in that way what happens is it takes the current directly from your battery uh, and only when your you know engine is cranked 
so in that case uh, it doesn't run the maximum power through the stock wiring it runs through the relay wiring so that is something that you have to make sure that if you are using any sort of high uh, wattage bulbs or any sort of high wattage power uh, which consumes high wattage power you must install a relay irrespective of the bulb or uh, you know horn whatever it is so if you people see in the previous uh, video that i made for horn the hella horns was using a lot of power so which the stock wiring cannot handle so hence uh, i have replaced the uh, connection for the stock wiring to the uh, through relay where the relay handles the power and because of which there is no drop in performance for the horn and there is no harmful for uh, your stock wiring also so relays are you know extremely useful when you, you know power up stuff which are more uh, you know higher wattage or higher uh, amp rated than the stock one so quick tip for uh, people who are getting led bulbs in replacement of uh, you know your stock bulb you know i'm not telling that not to upgrade to led bulbs but uh, do it carefully uh, get it from a well known uh, producer like osram or philips or uh, no ox beam uh, so these sort of uh, manufacturers ensure that uh, irrespective of the reflector that you you uh, know use uh, they try to keep the beam pattern neutral so it can fit most of the reflectors and uh, one more additional thing what you can do apart from installing a led uh, you know headlight into a reflector one you can uh, get n250s or you know f250s projector which is also of a good quality and it costs you around 7000 rupees so by getting that projector you can try to retrofit into your uh, bike and the only drawback is you won't be getting the drl but hey if you are looking forward for uh, upgrading your headlight performance then you can obviously get that and uh, try to retrofit into a reflector and obviously ns200 reflector can be adjusted uh, with a single screw that is behind the headlight unit so just uh, turn it clockwise to bring the beam down and turn it anti clockwise to bring the beam up so that is something you can keep in mind so let me take it to the highway and show you the highway performance also hey guys this is a headlight test of the bizenon projector in ns200 on highway so it will take some 10 to 20 seconds to boot the headlight up as i said every hri unit will take some time to boot up and i hope you people can see the headlight already and uh, this is how the headlight looks in highway So if I go nearby a car, you can see clearly how the projection looks. So this is the low beam, and this is the high beam. So low beam, and this is the high beam. I'll go right. So currently the projector is running in low beam, and I hope you people can see it. I will switch it to high beam. This is the high beam, and this is the low beam. So you can see the projection on his shirt. This is the low beam, and this is the high beam. If you can see the bridge over there, uh, this is the low beam projection on the bridge, and this is the high beam. Low beam, high beam, low beam. Now I will take it to service road to make it clear for you people. I don't know how much is being justified on the camera, but in real it is like much brighter. so this is the low beam projection and this is high beam projection this is low beam and this is high beam this is low beam you can see no vehicle is affected no drivers are affected who is coming from over opposite direction 
so i think uh, this uh, vlog too is helpful for you to decide whether you have to move to a led setup or get a led projector or get a hid projector that i have here so for any more queries uh, or doubts that you people have feel free to dm me in instagram and uh, i hope you like this video and stay tuned to archeonics for more stuff coming soon